power, tired, so I put the PowerPoint up when we're going low tech. And it actually has to do with one of the reasons is uh, the issue of feeling trust and confidence. That it's not about trying to sell you on our general expertise. I'll guarantee you that if we made it from 65 to the 15, that we have the expertise. But coming from the heart, look around and be glad that you are able to be here. And the problem with that is there are a lot of people that aren't able to be here. So I'm very fortunate, and we all are, to be here and to have the 15 teams that are here for you to select. And I mean, they're great. ACE is great. We're working on a project together. We all work together. This is a great community of planners, architects, and um, community leaders that we're going to look forward to in this process working together. Um, to have the opportunity to put a dream team together, to say, who would you have on your team to go, in, to, to go and ask a neighborhood to be your partner? See, we have like 15 different entities on the team. They're in an org chart someplace in Stephen Bingler's office. But what we need is that other partner, and that's the neighborhood. And that's why this is so important. It's important to me. And I want to speak from my heart. I don't want to speak to a screen. And I want to show you the, the people that are here that are working on a team. But it's primarily who, who we are are local folks that are teamed up with out-of-town professionals that wake up every day uh, and think about planning and wake up every day and think about how to rebuild communities sustainably. The two out-of-town firms that we have are Camaros, which I've worked with for several years. He actually had an office in my office for a while. He did the empowerment zone application. I don't know how many of you are old enough to think about that, but Jacques was a little bit uh, younger then. And Bob Berkebile with BNIM. Uh, those are the two out-of-town firms that I felt were important enough to add the expertise to our team. And Bob Berkebile with BNIM is uh, the preeminent firm uh, that creates and helps create sustainable communities and architecture. So uh, you'll hear uh, a little bit more from Jacques in a moment. Uh, Carlos Cascio is somebody that I've worked with for years. Uh, we're uh, helping redo this park and the whole 113 buildings as we speak. Uh, I would find it hard to, to be on a, in a situation where I got into a neighborhood and, and needed somebody like Carlos, who's a landscape architect in town, and not have him at my side because we've done dozens of charrettes together. And Carlos couldn't be here this evening. ERA, this is about bringing the bacon home. It's important for you all to know that you really do need economic research associates or someone like them to work with neighborhoods to figure out how to get the money, where it's coming from, how these things are feasible. We're not going to be able to afford the $120 billion of project that these 15 or teams are going to come up with. We're going to have to be very prudent about what we pick to move forward with, and that's important. And we're looking forward to them. And I'm currently working on them on a $200 million project in Algiers uh, for the Fireman's Pension Fund. The firemen are great. And please support them. They make $8.20 an hour. Thank you, the firemen. I mean, we all have the firemen. Sorry about I got into that. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Kerwin Julian, engineer. Kerwin, uh, we're working on uh, some projects now together. Uh, important to have the SAGE uh, uh, input from Kerwin, and who has been uh, working on planning. We're going to try and get this um, through with us in five minutes. GCR, Greg Rigamer, uh, was here right off the shoot and, and really has the statistics to give us the background information waiting on our other partner, that neighborhood, and seeing what information we'll be able to fold into our efforts. Urban systems to handle some of the infrastructure and the traffic. And then Nelson, um, W.S. Nelson, Charles Nelson, worked with him many times. What I'd like to do now is uh, tell you that um, what we're trying to do in getting to feel for, for the neighborhoods that we'll be teamed up with is coming from the heart and making sure this is a bottom-up process. I've been to dozens and dozens of neighborhood, neighborhood junkie. Um, <laughs> it's just what happens. Uh, but it's important because I go and I listen, and I don't talk, and all of you know that I go and I, and I listen, and this is an important virtue, one that's hard for me because I, I'm prone to talk a lot. And that's what I'm going to turn it over to Gene Sizek, who is also on our team. Good. All right.
Uh, thank you for being here. I uh, just want to address the question of uh, basically a sort of another version of any of the people who've uh, talked tonight or have had their names mentioned are former students of mine from either LSU Landscape or Tulane School of Architecture. Uh, I've been working in New Orleans since 1968 uh, when LSU and uh, Landscape faculty and I did the study for the Riverfront Expressway to basically define what was really happening there. I've also worked on the growth management program for the Central Business District uh, and <coughs> uh, the, uh, uh, there were even a proposal for a wonderful, much better way of having built uh, New Orleans East than what actually got done. It's called Pontchartrain Newtown. Uh, this again was an international group of, of planners. Uh, I guess one of my biggest or three biggest uh, accomplishments uh, and that put me into the neighborhood are, are I've been at Tulane since 1970 uh, and I've been I direct the preservation studies program there uh, and I've uh, been working with children in neighborhoods uh, from pre-k through 12 uh, for uh, 30 years and uh, this year we're going to be uh, doing something very special because we have a new school of architecture and construction at Priestley uh, Elementary, which is a new charter school. Uh, my students and I have studied practically every neighborhood in the city and region, including a few places out of town. So I just want to let you know that, that we are from New Orleans, we are of New Orleans, and most of us have worked at many other places. Most of us could have lived many other places, but we're not. We're living here because we love it here. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to our. Well, let, let me say something. <laughs> I'm a facilitator with the team of Williams Camaros, and what I do is make sure all of these people stay on time. We respect who they are. We're all qualified. And I'm going to give 30 seconds for Curran and Jacques to say something, and I'll introduce Cynthia. But what we do is make sure we look at the faces to make sure you understand what's being said. We are trying to communicate some facts, but we want to make sure you understand. So the essence of this entire project is you are the employer. You select the neighborhood team. We need to be responsive to you and find a way to work with you to meet your needs. So I want you to meet very briefly, uh, Kerwin and then Jacques. I'm Kerwin Julian, I uh, own Julian Engineering. We're a civil and structural engineering firm. We're located in Algiers. We've been in business for 11 years. I've, I've been practicing engineering for 19 years. Uh, we have 34 employees and we have all of the tools necessary to provide the engineering uh, and infrastructure support. I'm Jacques Orgerson. I'm president and, uh, of uh, Camiros Limited in Chicago. I'm the out-of-towner. Uh, but I have strong connections here, having worked in many of the poorest of your neighborhoods on the Empowerment Z uh, Zone project back in the early 90s. Um, <clears throat> what I'm, my job is to bring our experience in neighborhood planning. Uh, we have worked in over 40 neighborhoods throughout the country. Uh, we have worked on developing uh, a system, a process uh, with our neighborhood clients that distinguishes uh, planning in neighborhoods from planning by city government, and there's a big difference there uh, because it, it has it has to lead the neighborhood. It's a neighbor. It's owned by the neighborhood to put forward their agenda as opposed to uh, establishing regulations from the government itself. Um, if Ernest will allow me, I'll say more about the process later. <laughs> I'm getting the signal that we have one minute left, <laughs> and I want to make sure we're on time. We respect your time, and we're glad you stayed here to hear us. Um, what we're committed to in the team of professionals is that we want to partner with you. We want a healthier community. We want a community that is safer, as you do. We want one that you can raise your families in, that your grandparents, your moms can live in, your children can be raised in. We can address all of that. We will have a hotline established in our office, so if you can't make a meeting, you can call, and Cynthia will be answering the phone, and she will get the person who gives you the answer, and she'll get back to you. 
We'll have a local presence in your neighborhood if we're selected. We'll have an open house, so if you can't make a meeting, you'll be able to come on a certain day during a time span and just stop in and get your questions answered. It's a partnership, and it is not just one party talking, but it's a marriage. It's going to be a four-month marriage, and we'll have a lot to do. Thank you so very much. The triple bottom line, which is economic, social, and environmental, and that's what the plans have to do to make a healthier New Orleans. Thank you very much on behalf of Williams Camaros.